You're going to see how to add custom classes in Web Studio, the use cases for custom classes in the builder, and why tokens aren't classes. In the builder, click settings in the top right. Here's the class field. I'm going to type in hello and world. Notice while we're in here, we can also set an ID and properties either from a predefined list or we can create our own. Preview, inspect, and see we have hello world outputting exactly as we type them. But why would we want to do this? Well, we would do this if we want to use custom code to target something on the page. So if we want to add an animation library, table of contents, or custom CSS, we would use class ID or custom properties for our code to target something on the page. Tokens are very similar to classes in the sense that you attach styles to the tokens, and then you put the token on every instance you want those styles to show up on. But unlike classes, tokens don't have the combo class nonsense, there's no specificity issues, and when you type in a token name, it doesn't output that name in the HTML. In fact, behind the scenes, there's a translation process from tokens to classes. In the development world, we would call this an implementation detail. Meaning, as a user, I say, I want a background blue right here, and the system goes, okay, I'll take care of that. How the system takes care of it over time may change, and it has in the past. For example, we changed the algorithm of converting tokens to classes, and it reduced the CSS file size on your websites by up to 90%, making them faster. So decoupling tokens from classes gives us the flexibility to change that process to improve performance or adapt to new technology or features as we add them to the platform. This allows us to stay agile and produce the best builder. In summary, use tokens for everything you can do in the style panel. For custom functionality or styles outside of the style panel, use classes, IDs, or attributes. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.